Good morning, and thanks for tuning in. I'm Chris Whitehead. And I'm Josh Hauser. Today is Friday, March 24th, and this is RT Today, brought to you by... The D.B. Cannon Studio of Dance, Middletown's home for dancers. On this day in history, in 1889, one of the worst oil spills in U.S. history begins when the supertanker Exxon Valdez, owned and operated by the Exxon Corporation, runs around on a reef in Prince William Sound in southern Alaska. Happy birthday today to Keenan Bozzi and Marlo Monk. Let's go to Chris with a wrap-up of today's headlines. Thanks, Josh. In news, the United States launched airstrikes against Iranian-linked targets in Syria after a U.S. contractor was killed and five U.S. Secret Service members were wounded when a suicide drone hit a coalition base in the country's northeast. The intelligence community believes the drone had to have been of Iranian origin. In entertainment, Disney struck a deal with several unions to raise the minimum wage to $18 after much negotiating. The deal also included, quote, industry-leading health benefits and tuition reimbursement. In sports, Julian Strother hit a three-pointer with seven seconds left to answer a three-pointer by UCLA's Amari Bailey, lifting Gonzaga to a wild 79-76 win over UCLA on Thursday night. Gonzaga will advance to the Elite Eight. That's a wrap. Let's go to Josh with today's announcements. Thanks, Chris. Seniors planning to attend Frederick Community College in the fall of 2023 need to attend a meeting with an FCC representative to get you started on your college process. You will either apply or reapply as a first-year student with FCC, learn how to register for classes, and much, much more. This is a great way to kickstart becoming a first-year college student with FCC. Please bring your Social Security number for the application process. Today is the last day to donate at least $1 in your Knight's Quest class to be donated to the Global Down Syndrome Foundation. Each student who donates at least $1 will have their name entered into a drawing to win either a $20 Starbucks gift card or a $20 Dunkin' gift card. The Knight's Quest that collects the most money by this Friday, March 24th, will be treated to donuts next Friday during Knight's Quest. Our goal is for each Knight's Quest to collect at least $10. In sports, last night, the girls' varsity softball team fell 9-6 to Oakdale. The varsity baseball team defeated Oakdale 5-0. Brett Lucas batted in two runs. Cam Baker, Hunter Barnes, and Joey Nicholson also had RBIs, and Nicholson and Barnes had multiple hits. Barnes pitched four and a third innings and allowed zero runs and zero hits. Preston Yost pitched two and two-thirds innings. The girls and boys varsity tennis match was canceled. Tonight, the boys and girls varsity track teams are competing at North Hagerstown at 3.30. The boys lacrosse team is facing Catoctin at home, JV at 5.30 and Varsity at 7. The girls varsity lacrosse team is playing against Catoctin away at 6. Over the weekend, the JV softball team has a game against Williamsport, and the JV baseball team plays Williamsport away. Good luck, Knights. That's all for the announcements. Let's take a look at today's weather. Thanks, Josh. It looks like there will be rain for the rest of the day. We're under the pavilion today because it is just so gloomy out here. But we do have a high of 50 degrees, which is warmer than other days, and a low of 40 degrees. That's all for weather. I'm Kelly Fernan. Back to you in the studio. Thanks for watching. You can find more content at mhsroundtable.com, or you can download our app, Student News Source, for access to our articles, videos, and podcasts. I'm Chris Whitehead. And I'm Josh Hauser. We leave you with this final thought. Hi, this is Mr. Phelan. Let's talk about luck. Luck is when preparation meets opportunity.